with another video for you today. This is a video suggestion that came up to me um, and I thought, you know what, there are some brands that I want to talk about that are not getting spoken about. These are newer niche houses or some are existing for a while. They're newer for me. Some you might have heard of, some you might not have. And today I'm going to tell you 10 niche houses that you should definitely keep an eye out for their fragrances. So if you want to find out about these 10 fragrance houses, niche houses, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. That's right, we've got 10 different fragrance houses today, niche houses that have been around for a while. Some are brand spanking new, some are a few years old, some even go back maybe five years but they're pretty new to me. And I've spoken about some of them here and there. In fact, I've spoken some about some of them via shows I've gone to. So you've probably watched the, the show uh, footage that I've shot, but there are 10 fragrance houses that you should definitely check out. But before we begin, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, finding out about new fragrances, discovering new brands, and of course, participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. Let's get started and the first house I want to talk to you about is a house called Atelier Oblique. Two fragrances from this house that I have I'm going to talk to you about. The one that I really love that I fell in love with instantly about two and a half years ago or maybe two years ago is one called Bohemian Woods. This one right here. It's absolutely delicious. This one. So for me this one uh, I think before I talk about the fragrance, the, the, brand, the brand's I think from Germany, but the owners of the brand are from the uh, various parts of the world. I think, um, I think the main guy is from Argentina. I could be wrong. Uh, don't quote me on that, but um, a great house to really uh, follow up on and see what they're doing. But this one I'm obsessed with and I really loved and um, it's called Bohemian Woods but it smells like incense. There's like a smoky, incense -y something running through it. Um, on, to on top of that, there is a uh, slightly licorice -y green vibe running through it as well. For me, the experience seems like you're in an old musty church and you can smell the furniture, the church, the woods, the interior uh, with some greenness uh, thrown in. It's it's wonderful release. It's just a, an amazing, amazing scent and uh, definitely one for you to try. And they have really, really cool bottles that you can see. This is Bohemian Woods. And then let me tell you a little bit about Closer. And Closer uh, seems like it's more of a freshy, um, but definitely as a house, there are a few other fragrances that I really like from this house that are definitely worthy uh, to know about. This one seems a little uh, different. I'm gonna spray the, the cap, uh, not the cap, but the, the packaging here to see what this one's all about. But seemed like this one, uh, is this right here. It seems more like a, um, more like, again, it's like a smoky resinous something or rather. Very interesting. Uh, there's also like maybe some iris running through it. Anyway, this is closer, but the one that's really um, got me excited is uh, this one, Bohemian Woods. Uh, so definitely Atelier Oblique is, is a house that you should check out and keep an eye out because they are doing some awesome, awesome releases. Both of these are great, but again, my favorite is Bohemian Woods. I just can't get enough of that incense woody fragrance experience with the um, licorice kind of green, uh, absinthe kind of a smell in the background, which really, really is wonderful for me. Very, very unique, uh, love it. Anyway, that is Atelier Oblique. As you can see right there. Maybe you saw a video about that house on one of my um, show, um, videos I did uh, on a travels. But this next house I have sm spoken about on uh, various videos on the channel. Um, we spoke about them in an ambrette video and then we also spoke about them in a chocolate cacao video. And the f house I'm talking about is Atelier Materi. These are the boxes where the fragrances are. And Peau de Ambrette is such a sexy ambrette focused musky fragrance that I'm uh, obsessed with. It's really, really phenomenal. It's not a loud fragrance. It doesn't project a lot. It's more of a skin scent, but that sexy ambrette note is uh, phenomenal. And these bottles are also very, very uh, amazing uh, caps, handmade uh, caps, I was told. Uh, really beautiful bottles, as you can see. 
but definitely a house worth checking out. According to um, my uh, online research, they are now being sold at Javoy, and I think Javoy ships uh, worldwide now. The other one is Cacao Porcelana, and it's a exactly what it is. It's like a cacao, very porcelain-like experience. So there's a very like sheen experience with this cacao. And this one, I oh wow, that's so good. Uh, it's very refined and um, gorgeous. Now this one was featured in uh, my chocolate and cacao fragrances video. You can find both of those uh, videos on the channel. Go check them out and learn a little bit more about these fragrances. But this is a house uh, definitely worth uh, uh, discovering and I have smelled all our fragrances they do have a pomelo and I think it's a pomelo with some black pepper really lovely they have an iris and they have another one and I'm drawing a blank with that one but definitely new niche house for you to check out um, so this is Atelier Materi and uh, this is Peau de Ambrette for the Ambrette lover musky really gorgeous and this is a uh, cacao porcelana both awesome releases definitely you should uh, check out what this house is doing so this next one is a house that I discovered about two years ago at uh, Exxon's and um, really got to know the person behind the house last uh, late last year uh, in another show it's Le Orchestre Parfums this one right here and the, um, they have they launched with five and I think they now have seven uh, or they could have seven or eight but I really fell in love with their sandalwood fragrance and I'm trying to see if I can and I need the glasses for this one but this is all about sandalwood it's very very milky um, it's called Piano Santal this is the fragrance right here wow if you like milky fragrances I'm gonna spray this one on because I'm not wearing anything today so it's one of those very milky, medicinal smelling sandalwood fragrances. It's so good. It's really, really good. Um, just imagine medicinal milk. If that, you can picture that, that's what this smells like. And it is called Piano Santal, which all their fragrances are themed around, um, you know, the music and orchestra and things like that. That's why it's called L'Orchestre Parfums, this one right here. Uh, in the bottle, in the packaging, as you can see, the music notes and all that good stuff. Very, really, there's some really good fragrances in this collection, and this one really did win me out, and I really, really loved it. And uh, I had to have a bottle. And on me, uh, it is very soft and creamy and gorgeous, medicinal smelling sandalwood. Now, you gotta like that kind of thing. Um, but the sandalwood in here. Um, it's just very, very cozy. Anyway, if you like the idea of sandalwood and you like the idea of something very medicinal, kind of um, milk and uh, cozy, buttery, uh, creamy, kind of a woody experience, definitely this is one for you to try. It's pretty darn amazing, actually, as far as the smell goes. So this is another brand that you should definitely check up on. This might be their eighth or seventh fragrances. And when I met the, the brand uh, last uh, late last year uh, in France, they were working on a few other fr uh, fragrances. Um, this one is the Piano Santal, and I think they were working on an electronic music one, and they have all these different uh, music-themed uh, fragrances with different notes, and this is the, definitely the one that's focusing on the sandalwood. Anyway, that's Piano Santal from the house of L'Orchestre Parfums. So this next one is from a house called Maison Soul. I think I have the box on wrong, but let me uh, show you. So Maison Soul is this right here. Uh, I think and this is number, this is the fragrance called L. I'll show you the bottle. So L is this, uh, and it's beautiful, beautiful bottle, and a very, very warm and ambery experience. And I really fell in love with this one. And this is a house that just launched, like, later last year. In fact, I met the owner of this house earlier last year and he said I'm working on a new brand because he used to be part of Schwartz Laza, the German brand. He's a, he's a German guy and this is his new brand. And uh, when I smelled this one I was like wow this is so good. This is so ambery but really really rich and I believe these are all extrait de parfum concentrations which means very very concentrated. I'm gonna spray this one on the other hand um, but I'll, I'll tell you a lot about it. But uh, if you like a lot of amber, ooh, 
See, it's it's amber, but it's gorgeous. There's some saffron in there, which really, really adds a leathery uh, experience. But when you smell it, there's lots of fruits under there. Like the fruits are trying to come out with the saffron and all the ambery accords. It is delicious, actually. Really, really delicious. It just seems like very, very powerful concentrated uh, experience but a wonderful release so they only have three fragrances that i smelled and as i said l is my favorite i love the way it smells and uh, i'm glad to have it and you guys definitely should check this out if you know the house schwartz laza i'm drawing a blank exactly how to say this house it's a german name and i've done a video or two about the house here on the channel and you're curious to discover this new house called maison soul as you can see you should definitely check into it. And if you like ambers, fruity ambers, L is the one to go with. It's really, really gorgeous. All right, so that is uh, Maison Soul. And sorry, some of these ones that I'm going to talk to you about next, I don't have boxes for. So I only have the bottles, but you'll see. So this next one is another house that just launched, and they have a winery in the in the. Um, Tuscany region of uh, Italy, and they're fra they launched fragrances. In fact, they have skincare and all that good stuff, all made with wine or grapes, actually. And then they have six or seven fragrances that they launched later last year, created by Paolo Terenzi of Tiziana Terenzi. And I smelled all their fragrances, and I really fell in love with. Uh, Fortuna and the, the fragrance house is Divina Terra. This one right here. So this one, um, it's. This one actually, it's interesting because it's quite powdery, lots of powder, but there's also a very, very rosy uh, background in the back. But something under there is very, very woody and earthy with uh, lots of patchouli. So the combination is really, really intense and concentrated. Again, it's an ex de Parfum concentration uh, created by Paolo Terenzi. And whenever he does fragrances for his own house or brands, he's got multiple brands. They're all ex de Parfum concentration, meaning ex de Parfum is the, the strongest concentration of perfume oil in a fragrance. So when you have that kind of a concentration, uh, definitely it's uh, gonna last a long long normally it is not all the time sometimes it falls flat but most of the time meaning it's gonna last a long time and sometimes uh, the, the the more concentrated it is the, the, so if it's an excavated parfum the projection is not as big as like let's say for an eau de toilette but with the niche houses I think they're making them that they are but whereas in um, some of my experience with other fragrances are when they're eau de toilette, they project a lot, and then when it's getting to EDP, there's less projection, and then finally it's pure perfume or parfum, then it's less projection. But here, the projection of uh, this last one I, sp I spoke to you about, Maison Sol, and then this one, they're both extrait de parfum concentration, really, really loud fragrances, really, really awesome fragrances. But Fortuna is great. The rose is pretty prominent. I think there's heliotrope or maybe iris in here because there isn't also an almondy kind of an uh, undertone there because heliotrope traditionally is powdery and smells like almonds to me um, and then rose and then patchouli and earthy woody uh, fragrance just real wonderful really really sexy as well I really loved it so anyway that's Fortuna Fortuna from the house of Divina Terra another house to check out if you are a fan of uh, Paolo Terenzi and Tiziana Terenzi fragrances this is definitely one for you to try uh, or not necessarily this fragrance but the fragrances from this house. So that is Divina Terra Fortuna. So another house that I haven't spoken about on this channel, but soon you will find out more about them, is a fragrance house called Lark. Right here, these two fragrances. So one is Memoir. I think that's how you say it. Memoir. Memoir. To me, that's what it sounds like. And then this one is Evasion. This one right here. I don't know if you could see that, but Two different fragrances, and I believe these fragrances are created by, um, who's the guy that created Moon for Frederick Mall recently? Anyway, I'm drawing a blank with his name, and I think he created these two fragrances, and he's pretty much done a lot of the fragrances for this house, and I really love uh, one of these fragrances. This one, uh, Evasion, Evasion, is very, very uh, intense, woody, um, vanillic tobacco fragrance, kind of slightly hinting at um, fragrances like tobacco vanilla. They're not identical, but it goes in that direction. So there's a sweetness, there's a tobacco, there's ashy tobacco, there's vanilla, there's woody touches, 
dry, it's not a wet and syrupy ambery experience, it's more of a dry and slightly powdery experience, which is really, really awesome. So that is Evasion, this one right here. And then Memoir, uh, it's not one of my favorites, but I think I have to grow into it. It's more like a freshy, but a freshy, citrusy, fruity, woody fragrance. I haven't worn this one, so I can't really say much about it, but as far as Evasion goes, I really do enjoy it, and I like I like tobacco fragrances to begin with, so this one definitely is a winner for me. So this is Lark, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put down the name of the perfumer for these fragrances so that you guys know. Um, and I'm drawing a blank with his name. I'm sorry about that, but I believe he's the same guy who did the fragrance of, uh, for Frederick Mall called Moon. Anyway, this is Lark, this is Memoir, and this is Evasion. This one right here. All right, this next house is a fragrance called Faux Ah. So. Fragrance house inspired by, or I guess, dedicated to the palm tree. And they have several fragrances and obsessed with O2 right here. Uh, and this is uh, what the bottles look like. A little difficult uh, to take out. So this is a very, very interesting fragrance number two. I think this is their first fragrance and it's a wonderful, wonderful fragrance I fell in love with. This one is, um, about, um, it's very musky, but also very green undertones. And there's a very, very sexy uh, touch about this one where it's not a, a big monster. It doesn't project a lot. It's more of a skin set to me, but a basic, Not I shouldn't use the word basic. I should use something more like uh, something for a signature scent. It's that kind of a fragrance because it's got these very, very interesting green touches to the fragrance, but still, still has the sexiness about it. There's some woody touches. There's some citrus touches, but but a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Um, if you like a simplistic fragrance, but still taking you into directions of the greens and citruses and woods, definitely one for you to try. And I believe there might be a palm note or palm tree note in this fragrance as well. I haven't done my research, but hopefully I'll review some of these fragrances that I'm speaking about today. But this one, O2 from the House of Foa is awesome, awesome fragrance. And once again, I'm drawing a blank with the name of the perfumer. I will put down the name of the fragrance, uh, the perfumer. So this is another house for you to try. If you haven't heard about this house, definitely look into it. If you like the idea of palm trees, all the fragrances are inspired by palm trees and the Middle East, of course. Anyway, Foa O2, house to check out, definitely worth it. A few more houses left, guys. I know this video is longer than normal. So I'm gonna put my glasses on for this next one. This is a house from Venice, and this is Venezia 1920. It comes in a box like this. And this one is Grey Velvet, is the name of the fragrance. So Grey Velvet, uh, it's a very, very big presentation, very, very heavy. Uh, and uh, very luxurious. And this one is focusing on figs. Do you like figs and fragrances? I have another fragrance coming up soon that has figs in the notes as well. So Venetia 19, 1920 is all about Venice. Sad about Venice sinking. Uh, I hope they can figure out a way to uh, fix all that stuff because I've been there once in my lifetime. I was very sick when I went. I was in Florence. I got a flu or something and I got there on New Year's Day. New Year's Day. It was fog all over. It was the most romantic, beautiful, beautiful experience that day. I've never, I mean, magical, if that comes to mind. Lots of fog. I mean, eventually by the end of the day, the fog burned off, but getting there on the train, getting out of the train uh, station and the fog, amazing. Awesome stuff. So this is Venetia 1920 uh, presentation. It's very luxurious. It's a beautiful coffret box. Uh, inside, is, whoops, like that, and the fragrance is here. If you like fig fragrances that are woody, not so fresh, these, this, this seem to be a very dense experience. And I'll pull out the bottle here for you to see. Venezia 1920 right there. I'm going to spray this one on my finger here. I can tell you a little bit about it because I really fell in love with this one. And I'm a Mediterranean guy anyway, and I love fig. I love the smell of fig. So. So this one seems to be very woody. There's some freshness around it, like maybe bergamot. There is a slight, light, like very, very light fruity undertone, but we're focusing on the leaves here, not the fruit as much, but there is some fruitiness there. So this is Venetia 1920, and this is Grey Velvet, the fragrance. 
So this is another house that you should check out. They have four or five fragrances that I uh, discovered when I met them and uh, I really enjoyed some of them. But this one definitely is one that uh, won me over as far as the smell goes and I really enjoyed and wanted to have a bottle of it. So Benicia 1920 Grey Velvet. Definitely check out, check it out. Especially if you are into the idea of figgy fragrances or fig fragrances that are on the woody side. So you might like that one. All right, two more houses to talk about uh, and then we'll be done. Now this house I've spoken a little bit about on the channel, uh, but uh, one uh, that's really, really won me over recently. And it's Rosendo Matu and number five that I brought back with me from Spain when I was there last August and I fell in love with this number five. It's, it's a sexy, sexy amber, but it's a musky, sexy amber that's not very syrupy and heavy. So you like the idea of the ambery sweetness, but you also want something a little more elegant, not overwhelming, not dense and heavy, weighty. This is the one to try. It is so good. It is. It smells great. I mean, I think there's a huge following with number five and there's a reason why there is because it's such a great fragrance. It smells so good. And those of you, as I said, that are into the ambers but don't want that cloying, sweet, heavy amber, this is definitely one for you to try. Number five is awesome. It's an awesome release. And then number one comes in a box like this is all about bergamot. Bergamot to the max. If you like bergamot in fragrances, you know what? I should be honest with you guys. I'm so impressed with this house and the quality of the fragrances. I couldn't decide what to get. I wanted to get another fragrance from them. I ended up going with number one because I love bergamot and I feel like I want to explore bergamot fragrances more. It's so good, man. It is delicious. This is really, really everything from this house. Um, in the original collection, I sampled the black collection or the dark collection that came out with. There was one that I really enjoyed, but the first collection in these numbers, they're all so good. So, so good. Number one is awesome. This is going to be perfect for spring and summer, mostly the summertime. Uh, but number five and number one, really, really gorgeous fragrances from Rosendo Matu. Check it out. If you guys don't know this house, as I said, I have focused uh, uh, or featured them in a few fragrance videos here and there. But hopefully we'll do some reviews of um, number five or maybe number one. And last but not least is an indie house from Canada. I believe it's from Canada. Libertine Fragrance. This one right here. And I've spoken about them a little bit as well. And uh, Gilded is one that I featured in my warm, spicy fragrances video. Cinnamon and spices and very gooey experience. So uh, if you like the idea of spicy fragrances, definitely one to try. Now this house is more of an indie niche house. Uh, especially with the presentation. Well, I'm not saying that the presentation is indie. It's just the smaller bottles, I feel like they're more like an indie kind of a house. Um, uh, it does remind me a little bit of Bruno Fazolari fragrances, although I think he's changed his bottles as well. Although the bottles also remind me of Bon Parfumer uh, bottles from France. So I shouldn't really say they're like indie-esque, but uh, definitely it is an indie house. It's a smaller house and uh, um, great quality fragrances and Gilded is very, very warm and spicy. And the other one that I really like from this house is Eros Fig, another fig fragrance. Totally different fragrances from the other one. And Eros Fig was featured in my fig fragrances video and uh, it's a very, very peppery fig. So if you like the idea of figs, if you smell it, it's very peppery, the leaves and all that good stuff. So this definitely takes on that really, really authentic peppery fig uh, leaf smell. And uh, Great collection of fragrances, really good stuff, and then the fig fragrance here is a phenomenal fig. I mean, there are fragrances out there that are like, um, what do you call it, um, Premier Figuier from L'Artisan, Philosicus from Diptyque, so many different fig fragrances. This is one that I don't have like this because they amp up the, the pepperiness and the woody tones and uh, it screams peppery. So if you like that peppery uh, kind of experience, very, very green and figgy, because I don't, I don't see, I don't, I don't smell 
fruit in here. It's mostly the green leaves and the tree. Then this is definitely one for you to try. If you like it uh, peppery and green and woody, um, definitely Eros Fig is one for you to try. So this is another house for you to check out. Libertine Fragrance, gilded for the spicy warm fragrance, very cinnamony, and then Eros Fig for the peppery green fig fragrance. Anyway, those are the 10 fragrance houses you should check out or keep an eye on because they're going to be releasing some awesome fragrances. In fact, they already have awesome fragrances as previewed here in this video. And uh, check them out. Go discover them, search them out, check out what fragrances they have in their entire collection, and uh, maybe perhaps go out there and get some samples or something. Anyway, I wanted to do this video for you guys to let you know some awesome um, underrated niche houses that you guys can check out. If you're looking for that next great house to learn about, this is the video for you to come back to and uh, check out or, you know, send on to your friends or something. If you have any questions or comments about any of the fragrances we discussed today or any of the brands, please put a comment down below. Let me know if you have tried these houses or any of these fragrances and if you are curious about any of them that you've never tried that sounds great to you. Other than that, guys, thanks so much for watching today. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.